welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today, I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make an easy vegetable frittata. Now what makes this dish so easy is that unlike a typical frittata, which is usually fried in a pan, this one gets baked in the oven like a quiche. But unlike a typical quiche, there's no crust to deal with, making this one gluten-free and delicious. All right, let's get started. For this dish, we'll need eight eggs, one half cup of sour cream, one half cup of ricotta cheese. Both of these can be low fat varieties. Four ounces of grated cheddar. You could also choose a low fat variety for that. A few tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped, one small onion, one bell pepper, six to eight mushrooms, and one large or two small jalapeno peppers. Now you'll want all of these chopped pretty small, but the jalapenos should be finely diced. We'll also need some salt and pepper to taste, and some paprika to sprinkle on top. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Now I like to saute the veggies for just a couple of minutes to get them to release some of their moisture and develop a deeper flavor as they caramelize. I like to start with the peppers and onions for a few minutes before adding the mushrooms. The premise here is that since the mushrooms are like little sponges, if we develop the flavors of the onions and peppers first, then those mushrooms will soak up a deeper, more complex flavor. This whole process took about eight minutes. Then I set it aside and continued with the rest of the frittata. In a large bowl, whisk the eggs, sour cream, ricotta, and a little salt and pepper to taste. Then stir in the sauteed vegetables, then the grated cheddar and chopped parsley. And we're ready to bake this. Well, I was going to use my 10 inch deep dish pie plate, but then I figured I might try this eight by 10 oval baking dish. I was thinking the dish could easily impersonate a football at your next Super Bowl party or tailgate. Now, after heavily greasing the dish with either butter or nonstick spray, simply pour the mixture into the dish and sprinkle with a little paprika to add a mild bit of spice and add a deeper color on top. Bake it at 375 for 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out cleanly. Let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Now don't panic as you watch it deplete. It's supposed to do that. Now here's how I cut mine to further mimic a football. But if we really want to get the guys excited about eating a dish called frittata, it wouldn't hurt to add some crumbled cooked sausage or bacon to this recipe. And here's a piece with a few of those corn cakes I made a few days ago. The extra cakes were popped into the freezer, but don't worry, they did their time in the toaster oven before hitting my plate. I really hope you'll give this recipe a try. And if you'd like to check out more gluten-free recipes, just visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.